minutes here at the clinic and the doctor has just sent me to examine your cranial nerves. So these are the nerves that are coming into from your brain and into your neck as well as your face. Um, and we're just going to see um, if there's anything going on. Um, and for this examination, everything that we discussed today will remain confidential between you, me and your treating doctor. Now, is that okay with you? Yeah. Yeah. So just confirm your full name. Yeah. Um, Shali Liang. Yep. And your uh, age? I'm 21. Yep. And your date of birth? 21st of January 2000. Great, and your occupation? I'm a student. Yep, and are you of Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander origin? No, I'm not. Okay, great. So we'll get started, if that's okay with you. Okay, so before we begin, can I just ask you a few questions? Mm -hmm. um, so can you tell me the date um, of today? Yeah, the 19th of May. Yep, and the day of the week that we're in? Um, today is a Wednesday. Yep, and the year? Uh, it's 2021. Yep, and the season? It's autumn. Great, and where are we at the moment? At Swan Hill Primary Health Clinic. Yep, which state? Um, Victoria. Yep, great. Okay, so um, patient is orientated to place and time, that's good. Um, and just having a general look at the patient, just so just having a general inspection. Um, so no signs of deformities, um, no signs of facial drooping, and when you were talking to me, I didn't notice any dysarthria or dysphagia. Um, no signs of asymmetry anywhere. And can I get you to walk up and down from here to there and back? Just normally. Yep. Great, and can I get you to walk heel to toe? Yep, great, okay, so no signs of gait abnormalities, um, and your heel to toe walking showed no signs of cerebellar abnormalities either. And Alrighty, so now I'm just going to have a look underneath your hair, if that's okay. So have you um, hit your head recently, or fallen over recently? No. No, no bleeding from your head that you've noticed? Mm -mm. And any headaches? No. No, great. Okay, and does that feel any pain? No, no pain. Okay, that's good. So no signs of head injuries, which is good. Alrighty, and it's at this point that I would get your vitals as well. So your heart rate, um, your respiratory rate, your temperature, um, your oxygen levels as well. And I would also do your GCS score, which is 15 from what I can see right now. Okay, so now we're just going to test your visual acuity, which is um, how accurately can you see with your eyes, so your eyesight. So firstly, we're going to use this chart, and because this chart's a three meter chart, one, two, three. So can I get you to stand over here for me if that's okay? Sure. And do you wear any contact lenses or any glasses? Yeah, I wear contacts. Mm -hmm. But that's okay, because we're doing the cranial nerves, um, so we don't need to remove that for mm. this examination. So first, can I get you to cover one of your eyes? Yeah. Yep. So can I get you to read the lowest line that you can see? Yeah, so D, X, F, P, H, T, A, Z. Yeah, so that's six out of five, which is normal. And can I get you to switch eyes for me? Mm -hmm. Yep, and read the lowest line you can see backwards. Um, backwards, mm -hmm. Z, A, T, H, P, F, X, D. Yep, so six out of five, that's normal as well. And can I get you to, um, Read the lowest line that you can see off with both of your eyes. Yeah, um, D, X, F, P, H, T, A, Z. Great, so that's six or five for both of them. So that's good, that's normal. Alrighty, so now we're just going to test your visual field, which is how far you can see with your eyes in the peripheral visual field. So can I first get you to cover that eye for me? Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, and keep staring into my nose. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to move my finger um, from different corners of your vision. And can you tell me when you first see them? Yeah. So uh, stare right into my nose. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Great. We're just going to repeat on the other side. So mm -hmm. again, cover that eye and just stare into my nose. Yeah. Alrighty, so now we're gonna test your blind spot, which is a spot um, at the back of your eye, and it's um, usually where you can't see anything, but that's completely normal. Mm -hmm. So can I get you to cover one of your eyes? And yeah. stare right into my nose, and I'm just gonna move this from out to in, and can you yeah. tell me when it disappears? Yeah, it's gone. Yep, and now I'm just gonna move it in four different directions, and can you tell me when it reappears? Yeah. 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 Okay, great. Now I'm just going to switch. So, um, we would also do an ophthalmoscope exam on you for this exam, just to see how the back of your eye is looking, um, to look for any signs of increased intracranial pressure, but we're not doing that today. I'm just going um, to check your light reflex as well. So I'll be shining this light into your eyes and see how you're seeing how your pupils contract. So can I just get you to, again, stare right into my nose? Mm-hmm. Great, I'm just gonna repeat on the other side. Great. 
Yeah, great. So I can see both direct and consensual um, light reflexes on both eyes, which is normal. Mm. It's going to check for afferent papillary defects. Yep, so there are signs of afferent papillary defects, which is good. Okay, so now can I just get you to look at um, that corner of the piece mm -hmm. of paper with your with your eyes? Yeah. Yeah, and then look at my finger. Mm-hmm. Great, so this is looking at how your eyes accommodate to um, near objects, and I can see that it's normal, your pupils are contracted, which is good. Alrighty, so now I'm going to check for the fifth nerve, which is the trigeminal nerve. Um, so I'm going to check its sensation first, so using this um, sort of pinprick. And so can you feel that there? Yeah. Yeah, so now I'm just going to touch different sides of your face. And can, you, can I get you to close your eyes and tell me when you feel it? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And does it feel the same on both sides? Yes. Same as your chest? Yes. Okay, great. So now we're going to um, test the motor function of the nerve now. So can I get you to open your mouth, say ah, oh. ah, uh. yeah, and stop me from pushing it up, stop me from pushing it to one side, stop me from pushing it to one side, great. And can I get you to clench your teeth as hard as you can, just feeling the masseter muscle, which is here, as well as the temporal yeah, so that's all good. Good muscle tone. Yeah, so now we're going to do the jaw reflex. So can I get you to just relax? Yep, so no signs of hyperreflexia that would suggest an upper motor neuron lesion. Alrighty, so now I'm going to test for the facial nerve, which is the nerve that's innervating all the muscles of your face. So can I get you to look up and wrinkle your forehead? Yep, and stop me from pushing them down. Okay, great. Can I get you to shut your eyes as tightly as possible? So squeeze and stop me from pushing it out. Great. Can I get you to puff out your cheeks? Yep. And stop me from pushing them in. Yep. Can I get you to smile? Yep. So no signs of asymmetry there, which is good. Yep. So now I'm just going to have a look inside your ear. Um, so first, just having a look. And on the other side. No, I don't see any signs of deformity, no signs of hearing aids, no um, neurothema or any discharge either, no clear discharge that would suggest um, CSF leaking, um, and no signs of infection. And I would also do an otoscope examination, so this is where I get um, the otoscope and I have a look inside your ear, but we're not doing that today. Okay, so now we're going to test the eighth nerve, which is the nerve that's going into your ear and um, um, dealing with your balance as well as your hearing. So firstly, have you had any visual, I mean, hearing changes recently? No. No. So I'm just going to rub my finger in one ear and I'm just going to um, say two or three numbers in the other. And can you tell me um, what numbers I say? Mm. Two, three, eight. Great. And on the other side? One, three, nine. Okay, great. So hearing is normal. So now we're just going to do the Renee and Weber's test. So the Weber's test um, is basically where I put this tuning fork in the middle of your head. And can you tell me um, which side you hear it the most? It could be this side, this side, or it could be both sides as well. So, which side do you hear it the most? The same number. Yeah, that's great. So um, there's no abnormalities there. So now we're just going to do the Renee's test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this tuning fork on the back of your ear um, and I'm going to tell, get you to tell me when it stops. Um, ringing for you and I'm just going to place it on your ear to see if you still hear it. Is that okay? Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, so first just going to move to this side. Yep, so tell me when it stops. Yep. And can you still hear it? Yes. Great. I'm just going to repeat on the other side. Alrighty, so now I'm going to do the Dick's Hole Pipe, which um, tests for vertigo. So um, can I just get you to lay on the pillow first, if that's okay? Sure. So adjusting the pillow so that your head hangs um, off of the pillow, so can I get you to down it and, yep, that's a good position. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so now I'm just going to grab your head and I'm going to um, sort of put you down onto the pillow and mm -hmm. it might uh, cause some dizziness, so I apologize, but try to keep your eyes open and staring back at me at all times. Sure. Yeah. So, yep, yeah, so we're just going to go down. Yeah. Alrighty, so now I'm going to check for the hypoglossal nerve, which is the nerve that's going into your tongue. So can I get you to say, ah, ah and stick your tongue out, ah, ah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Great, so no signs of tongue deviation, no signs of fasciculations or any weaknesses in the tongue either. That's good. 
Alrighty, so now we're going to test for the 11th nerve, which innervates your trapezius muscle over here, as well as your sternocleidomastoid. So first, can I get you to shrug your shoulders? Yep, and stop me from pushing it down. Okay, great. And can I get you to stop me from pushing your head to one side? Stop me from pushing your head to one side. Okay, great. So power five out of five for, um, for the nerve. Okay, so that concludes the end of our examination. Thank you for your time. Um, I'll discuss the results with the GP um, and I'll get back to you. Thank you.